Hey everyone, today we're going to do a quick walkthrough of Jeopardy Labs. So if you have ever like played Jeopardy in your classroom and you don't want to start everything from scratch or you just need a quick game to play with your students, Jeopardy Labs is fantastic. It is a free site. Uh, you can choose to pay the $20 to have a lifetime subscription or you can just use the free version. And there's tons of pre-done Jeopardy games that other teachers or other people have already created or you can create your own. So I'm going to walk you through both. So when you go to the website, it's really easy. You can find a Jeopardy game. If you click on that and then type in your topic, um, today we're going to type in, let's say, animals. And I want to search. And then you're going to find over 10,000 matching games for animals. So maybe I want to be more specific. Um, and I'm going to search and I'm going to type in dogs. Can I find a Jeopardy game on dogs? I sure can. So I'm going to go through and pick, oh, the fifth one down. What's great about this is you can choose how many teams are in your classrooms. So if you're by groups or if you want to set your students up, you can do that. Um, let's say we've got five teams. We're going to hit the start button. And then right from there, you can choose your category. What's cool about this is once you pick games or there's one that you used to, you can definitely bookmark the link to the game so that way you can go back to the same one that you'd like to play so that's something to make note of make sure that you have um you kind of collect the url someplace so that way you can go back to a game if you really like it because there's just so many choices and then i would just preview the game um to make sure that it's going to have things that are questions that your students are able to handle so this subspecies has larger heads compared to their bodies and it's dogs versus wolves uh, you can ask your students, you can set a timer if you want to in your classroom. It was really nice and you just hit the space bar and it will give you the answer. So that way you're able to answer the questions, the answers come up, and then you can go ahead and click escape or just click on the button and then go to the next one. So the students, you know, pick group five, talk top dog breeds for 500, um, and you have your question and you can go through and then just hit the space bar and it will give you your answer. So that's really cool. There's so many different options that you can pick from when you are looking at a Jeopardy Labs, and you can just click the back button and it'll take you right back to your list. If you didn't like that dog one, you can go to another dog one. So there's plenty of choices. Again, just hit the back button. It'll take you right back to your original search, and then you can just hit Jeopardy Labs. It takes you back to the beginning. So there are all kinds of topics. They can be content specific, so you can choose... Um, like if you're going to do weather or if you're going to do capitals, if you're doing math, I know there's algebra and geometry. So again, there's so many different choices. If you would, if you don't want to make your own, that's totally fine. There's lots of different options for you. But I always just say preview the questions first to make sure that the answers are right and that your students can answer um, the questions that are there. If you want to create your own, you're just going to click create a Jeopardy game. And it always asks you to create a password. So it can be really simple. That way you can come back to it at a later time and you can just start building your own. What's really nice is that you're able to just create your own so you can pick any content you want. If you want to do something easy and light before break, you can do that. If you want to do vocab review, you can do that. Content review. Uh, there's just so many different it's Jeopardy. So you can choose any category that you would like. And you can choose in the format, so how many rows you want, how many columns you want. If you want to do extra things, you do have to put in that little lifetime um, $20 if you want to add additional rows and columns. So when you're here, you can type in your title. We'll say holiday. And then from there, you can go ahead and enter your categories. And then what's nice is when you click the question, it gives you the question prompt. You're going to type it in. It even gives you some little tips down here that in traditional Jeopardy, it's a phrase. It's a statement with your with the question is actually a statement. And then the correct response would be in a question. So it gives you your little prompts there. You type in your question. You type in the response. You click continue. And once you do, then that shows up on your board. So you're able to create out your own game. Again, bookmark it so you can come back to it. You can just click save and finish when you're done. And then... 
they always give you the little reminder, hey, make sure you bookmark this page or email it to yourself so that way you have it. So I keep them in a little Google spreadsheet. That way I have all of them put together and that way I'm able to find my Jeopardy games as I want to have them in my classroom. So there's so many options with Jeopardy Labs. You can build it into your classroom. You can practice content. Again, a little fun before a holiday break is really kind of nice. And also with Jeopardy Labs, they have other projects that you can do. So if you kind of check out down here, they have a crossword puzzle maker and a bingo card generator, a word search maker. So there's just a lot of other activity options that you can do. If you get a chance, check out Jeopardy Labs. It can make your life a lot easier and it can build a quick, fun review lesson right in with your students. And that way you can practice content and you don't have to do a whole ton of extra work. Have fun.